Hi everyone. Today our topic is how to create first JMeter test. Okay. This is our topic. Okay. Topic name is how to create first Apache JMeter test. Okay. This is the topic. Na. First of all, you need to create na and uh, everyone almost you need to install the jmeter tool but uh, what are the some prerequisites now first of all installed or uh, in operating system side most of the people will using one is windows and the second one is Linux or Mac, but Windows different and Linux Macs both are same only. Okay, first installed, installed Java 1.8 above means you can install the Java 1.8 or above also. Okay, how we need to check now? Uh, first of all, your new system is installed or not. Okay. You can go to the search bar, you can type the CMD Okay And uh, you need to open the command prompt The command name is type the java space iphone version Okay, you can see that is the command java space iphone version just click on enter you will show in the entirely i uh, installed java version 1.8 same way only uh, example you did not install anything you will showing the internal external command is not recognized something error will be showing this is the way you need to find out after second one installed apache jmeter tool install apache jmeter tool for latest this year is 2022 and uh, the latest version apache jmeter tool 5.4.1 i have already installed Okay, first of all, I will go to the my e folder. This is my e folder, and I will need to go to the Apache JMeter. Go to bin folder, and you need to launch. This is the GUI method. You need to launch the. Okay, through JMeter tool. Just a minute, you will open. Okay, this is the JMeter tool for window level. I will select the UI is window, not for the black screen. Okay, this is the window format. The version is 5.4.1. After this is the window format, you can copy this format. You need to open directly GUI method. Okay. In non GUI side, how we need to open? Na? You need to copy this entire path. Go to the command prompt. This is C drive, but this one is the E drive. You can type the E, copy. 
colon enter no? you will come to the e directory after type the cd space you can give the entire path click on enter now you will automatically will came to the um j meter bin path after in j meter i need to open this one directly another method is you can go to the window batch file example this one this is the window batch file window batch file window batch file means dot bat for window computer dot sh is linux and mac computers jmeter dot bat now i need to give the command jmeter dot bat just click on enter Yeah, the logs will be started now. The time only the J meter is open. Okay, this is the way you need to open to the through non GUI. You can open the J meter tool. Okay. After you need to create any one test now, the time. You need to open previous versions. There is a test plan and workbench, both is available, and the latest versions is did not available. That one that is also given to the under test plan only. Okay, but basically, once you need to open the JMeter, what is the available? What are the futures or any something elements is available? No, yes, it's available only test plan only, it's not available anything elements you need to add based on your requirement first one you add it to the uh, in first uh, in test plan available what you need to do now you need to just right click and select the add and thread thread group there are so many thread groups guys you need to add some plugins okay concurrent thread group there is a Thread group plugin available, custom thread group plugin. That one you need to add it to the JMeter uh, lib ext folder. That time only the Blaze Meter, JP of the JC. This all the uh, thread groups available. By default, thread group is available. Just you need to select. And you can see there are so many thread group side config elements and the listeners, timers. Preprocessor, post processors, accessions, test fragment, not test element. I will explain one by one. Threads means you need to provide the different type of test designing purpose and you need to provide the users. This all the features will provide threads. Config element means same how the our uh, request or uh, protocol will be work. Same as it is you need to work to the in config element and you need to config you need to provide some test data and remaining by default details you need to provide at the in this request same for the protocol level will be work listeners means the test execution time the all the output will be showing to the a uh, tree table side graph side there are so many methods you need to show timers means each and every request to what is the time you need to wait after hit to the server the type of timers and uh, constant timers based on your uh, performance testing side what are the uh, ways and scenarios is available this time is used to you you can design that one pre-processor post-processor pre-processor means the test execution before execute and post-processing test execution after will be executed okay this is regular expression this all the things available i will explain one by one after assertion means in load runner will called page verification the particular page uh, something element the test execution time it's able to display it or not but a human eye it's not able to see that one that is an assertion user to you need to during execution you will find out test fragment means this is also same HDB request only but uh, some futures is not available to test fragment but same act in HDB request side non test element means this is used to you need to record the scripts or mirroring the server or properties you need to display it. okay first i need to add the thread 
under thread i need to add the some add go to sampler hdp request okay after you can go to the thread group go to the listeners you can take the view results tree 1 Okay, now I need to give any one target server. The application is I will take into the JPET store. Okay, this is the general application for demo site. Yeah. Okay guys, you need to see this is the protocol HTTP by default available, but this one is HTTPS, that time you need to provide. It's available HTTP only, that time you don't need to provide anything. After colon, this double backward slashes, everything you need to remove, remove. the reason uh, this HTTP request that way only will be configured. After, you will provide only server name only. Okay, first one is the protocol. Protocol means that is HTTP or HTTPS, RSC tricks. There are so many methods. Okay, but a JMeter will support HTTP and HTTPS only. Okay, that is the protocol. Server name or application name you need to provide. Second one, server name or IP address. Port number, anything port number is available, you need to provide. After, this is methods what type of method you can use there are so many is available get post head put option trace delete patch not only this one you can see um, patch prof find and prof patch mk call copy move log unlock report mk calendar and such there are so many methods available and path will provide path means this is a server name or ip address after the extension what are the options you clicked what are the request will send it to server na? the extension url will be generated to the in your browser the path will be provided okay this is the content encoding you need to provide type utf8 format what type of there are so many formats you need to provide this one everyone you know redirect automatically follow redirect you keep live use multiple form data and browser compatible adders okay after you need to provide parameters parameters mean you need to actionally anything data you need to provide you can provide this way and body data also you need to provide something any body data you can provide and file upload means uh, upload means this is only for file uploading purpose only you need something you need to upload provide the file path and parameter name this is very important guys mime types you can search the google now you will showing the not only MIME type, there are so many types available. Uh, the type of data only you need to provide. Uh, sorry, the type format only you need to provide the data. That time only will be working. Otherwise, it did not work. It's very simple only, but uh, you need to learn this one. After, you can go to the, it's a basic, go to advanced. Okay, this one also you need to learn, guys. It's an important one. Advanced is, is a client implementation. It's a Java or a, which which type of one. You can see Java, HTTP client, that type of format you need to provide. The connection timeout, how many milliseconds you need to provide. Minimum you need to provide. I will provide 10,000 milliseconds. It's a 10 seconds. Response, what is the response? You need 200 you need to provide. Embedded resources from HTML files. You can see, you have anything developing knowledge that time only you able to understand this one embedded resources from html files what are the pages in web based will be developed in through html that time retrieve all embedded resources means all types of files formats everything you need to retrieve and you need to capture that one 
parallel download numbers you can provide the what are the pages you need to download it now the parallel will be retrieve embedded all resources and parallel downloads also will be started url must match url must not match you need to provide this one what is the application url you will provide it that one only need to match or not matched okay this is one type of uh, expecting and unexpected details you need to provide and the source address ip or host name and device ipv4 ipv6 it's a network site totally okay you need to provide the host name or ip address process server is schema anything you have available in process server side ip address port number username password and save response as md5 hash this is all the details will provide the high level but most of the time it's not required okay that is required or not is secondary matter but first of all you know that is enough okay you have really anything use you can use otherwise not required this is only enough after you need to save the script I will save the first. Okay, I will save it. Okay. Now I need to start the test, but just you need to running only. You can see the request is executed. Now you can see, guys, this is very small test plan. Okay. You need to mention to the multiple thread groups and multiple request and the multiple things you need to do otherwise you can add it to the uh, you need to each thread group you need to record your business flows all the transactions you need to mention okay there are so many methods you need to try but this is the first test plan now how we need to create now just for example purpose only i will show you and under test plan also you need to add go to config element now hp cookie manager Kaji manager. Okay, you can select this one cookie manager. Uh, clear cookie each iteration. Every iteration, the back end clear the cookies and catches. Clear the catches each iteration. The reason you need to select clear catch each iteration and clear cookies each iteration. Now, the main reason is example you are running for the performance testing okay not for the functional automation or security or something performance testing means example you log in a in open your browser okay example i am open this browser okay it's already stored to the my browser cookies browser is storing what is the cookies and catches means is storing some limited amount of data and use it to send one page to other web page without any database means the cookies it's a, a back end it's a data or say log files or a history you will store it and what you need to do now next time anytime you need to same page only you will hit it now fastly need to load it data is already available fastly loaded and show to you okay means that is the capturing the user more interacted to the that browser that browser, that purpose only google company will be developed that cookies and catches but as for the performance tester example you can see this is it's already opened okay he will take original time six seconds example okay page loading time original okay will take six um, six seconds
पेज लोडिंग टाइम सेकेंड टाइम जस्ट टू सेकेंड ओके दट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस फॉर दी परफॉर्मेंस टेस्टर्स फर्स्ट टाइम यू नीड टू ओपन सिक्स सेकेंड्स विल बी टेकन ओके You need to interact to the browser, to server, and server will give the response and network all the things. But uh, second time you need to same page you need to log in, na. Just it will take two seconds only. The reason it's already available. But as for the performance testing point of view, this is the right for the login time. This is the wrong. For as for the development side, both is right. Okay. That reason, every perspective it's a different way. But performance side, I need this one. So many users will be logging and execute the test now. That reason, every iteration, the cookies and catches will be cleared. Okay, once is clear now. Every time newly, you need to load the page and you need to log in and perform the remaining all the operations. How much time? the real time users will be take the time na that one only will be showing that time users will um the performance tester easily need to understand how much is the original response will be came and uh, once users this much uh, this much level of load you need to hit it to the server the server each user how much time will be given to the response and he will showing after you need to find out the issues okay that is the problems i problem for the web server app server or db server or any application server otherwise any queries or anything application side otherwise uh, you have any network issue otherwise anything there is a jmeter or a what are the testing tool you will provided uh, the tool anything limitation what is the problem you can easily need to find out through analysis the results okay Once it analyzes the results and you need to check the all the crops. This all the things you need to use it to easily you need to find out the issue and recommend it to the. First of all, you need to prove that issue. That is the main important. Okay, everyone will looking for that is only guys. You need to practice four to five times. That time only you will get the best idea. After only you can directly you able to get the projects to the clients. or us uk australia or kuwait any country you can get the projects na you need to 100% you need to complete and one important thing you need to take the seriousness it's a clients okay okay the point is clients is very important he will only given the money for you that reason you need to be on strong knowledge and you need to get a project and you need to complete successfully until you need to satisfy our work after you need to hand over you need to work that level before you need to learn all the things okay first only you need to learn okay after this is the general test plan guys this is the way only you need to check and uh, what is the response will be came na you can see thread name will become thread group 1 only one user one iteration time stamp will provided load time 921 milliseconds okay the time will be taken only it just overall one second you can consider connect time was 0.6 second latency it's a network first to receive the first byte you can see guys it's a latency is a very important one latency means the jmeter will send the request to server the server will be processed after you need to received send it to return back to the jmeter the first request will receive on the time only latency size bytes how much bytes you need to send it sent bytes header size in bytes body size in bytes sample count only one only error count no data type text or bin response code 200 response message it's not available anything uh, this is the data encoding guys i am already told na data encoding is utf8 this is the uh, universal format you need to use content type it's a http header manager text or html can set utf8 mainly text or html okay can okay. request you can see this is only request just for url no cookies nothing response this all the all the response data will be came 
okay this is also response body also response header means uh, you can see there is a something j session id na this is the guys it's a dynamic value okay you need to practice two three times from same application you need to do for the correlation parameterization this all the things na you can easily understand java application uh, majorly will come uh, i will tell you this one it's say useful java application correlation okay one one is j session id first one is j session id um j user id token okay uh these are the users only majorly i will see in j session id j user id and third one is the token and the sometime will became user session also user session also will came after after dot net application view results tree not view results tree this one that is view state one is the view state event validation third one is the only id only will be came okay these are the uh, dynamic value names will be received most of the time from java and dot net application and performance testing side guys majorly what type of application will be came na top preference java and net after python and php okay it's a web based na python and php will be came after mobile side android and ios and rarely will come windows but windows also will be came okay still there are uh, worldwide uh, so many people will using window mobiles also that is and windows also will be came okay after yeah this is the request after i will, after I will explain one thing you can see there are so many uh, double double options available now this options is first one this one is you need to clear now what is the request is available only that one only will be cleared but a remaining request results data is not cleared this one you can click on uh, it's uh, clear to the all data all results data will be cleared this is stop and this is shut down this option main reason is stop means it's a forcefully you need to stop the all the test and and suddenly no need to run after things anything he did not execute but second one it's a shut one shut down the gracefully shut down means all the request one by one you will stop it and you can properly need to shut down you can use this shut down only this one you need to run the test okay you can run for any type of test you need to run you can see start and no pass once you need to start and never stop anything and the remote testing also will be started same second one only okay now i need to go to threads just i will give the 10 users 5 6 7 8 9 
5 seconds select the infinity and specify time just i will do 60 seconds okay guys you can see number of threads means it's a user so how many users you require i will give the 10 ramp up period in seconds ramp up means the users will be moving to uh, in load test or any test time there is some ramp up time one by one you need to start the test there is a five seconds i will provide it five seconds means 10 by 5 there is a 2 uh, every one user 2 seconds means every 2 seconds one user will be start the test infinity means until i need to tell you what time you need to stop until you need to keep on running specify the thread lifetime no? i will give you the duration only just 60 seconds only 60 seconds you need to execute it and stop the test that's all our aim this is only you need to configure after you can save everything just you can click on start you can see it's both are is executed now activated both one the request is going on and view results tree also you can see uh, samplers okay what is the count is showing start thread time one 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 means first user first iterations first user second iteration first user first user first one first user third one first user fourth one that's the way only will be came this is the label is uh, protocol type is a request sample time you know uh, every request how much time you need to execute it and status will be came and bytes how much of size of the bytes will be sended and uh, sent bytes latency you already know on a connection time these are the general details will be provided to the uh, in system or j meter okay You can see the request everything keep on executing na. Uh, just J session it is same, but dynamic value only will be changed. Yeah, the test is completed, guys. Okay. Uh, this is the your first J meter test. This is the wave only need to create it. But one thing, this is the processor. Okay, there are so many futures, and nowadays companies also mostly using apache jmeter tool only the reason for it's the heavy cost for load runner or neo load or any other tools it's a huge cost that reason only all the companies will moving to open source side most of the time will using three tools first one is the preference uh, jmeter after gatling after locust and tsung okay until Tsang also one of the great tools but is working from under Ruby Royals that is the programming language will be able to sufficient into work but this is also a strong tool you able to generate the very high level and distributed load how's the um, JMeter will be work same only you can work to the Tsang also if you have anything doubt now you can just check it the tool names First one Apache J meter. You can see this is everything free only. There is no need to pay. That is not only companies mostly looking for uh, open source companies. You need to understand that one. This is the Apache software. Okay. Second one Gatling. Gatling also one of the powerful load testing tool okay it's a mission gun after you can go to the locust it's a locust okay this is the tool it's also free only you need to learn the framework how we need to work last one T sung Sung meaning is tsunami. Okay, you can see this is the T Sung tool. Uh, you can see this symbol only Ruby Royal symbol. A distributed load testing tool. But remember, guys, JMeter will fully developed and supported the Java and JavaScript programming language. 
Gatling supported Scala, supported Java and Scala, both. But you need to learn Scala also. Locust fully developed and used by only Python only. T Sung Ruby Royals. Okay, you need to remember this one. You can learn the programming. You are a tester, but you need to learn to the, this all the programming, this all the things now. You are the uh, better person compared to remaining all the peoples. You are able to work to the one of the efficient performance test engineer. Okay, you will take a lot of time. Yes, lot of time will be taken also. Uh, you need to learn now. You are the expert the technology. Okay, yeah, that's all guys. This is the way you need to create this all the small test and first Apache JMeter test script you need to create and you need to execute successfully. This is what is the type of test now? This is the APA test. This name is called. Okay, this is the APA test. You need to create and execute. Okay, yeah, our target is fulfilled. How to create this one? How to create first Apache JMeter test is successfully completed. Okay, that's all, guys. This video I will connect to the my next video. I will show you what I know in my experience in performance testing side. I will explain to you. Anyone is interested, please. You also you need to try to help the so many people is waiting for away. Create one channel and you can post the videos your free time and the people will be benefited okay thank you guys thank you very much